Imagine a world where we could cultivate our food, feed our families, and nurture the ecosystem all at once. Does traditional farming with its plowing, tilling, and turning of the soil seem to contradict this vision? Let's explore a revolutionary approach that's turning the tables on the age-old practices of agriculture. Enter the world of no-till farming. This innovative method of farming does away with the need to turn the soil before planting crops. Instead, farmers plant seeds directly into the soil, right through the residues of previous crops. It's a simple change in technique that has profound and far-reaching implications. No-till farming is not new. It's been around since the mid-20th century, gaining popularity in recent decades for its environmental and economic benefits. But how exactly does it work? Well, it's as simple as it sounds. Farmers leave the previous crop residue on the fields, which forms a protective layer over the soil. They then drill seeds directly into this layer, bypassing any need to disturb the soil structure. This technique is not just about saving labor or fuel. It's about working with nature, not against it. The layer of crop residue left on the fields provides several advantages. It helps to increase the organic matter in the soil, improving soil health and fertility. It also helps to prevent soil erosion and runoff, two major issues associated with traditional tilling methods. Moreover, the layer of crop residue also aids in moisture retention, reducing the need for irrigation and making farms more resilient against drought. This approach, therefore, proves to be a win-win situation for both the farmers and the environment. Let's delve a bit deeper into the benefits of no-till farming. First, it helps improve soil health. By not disturbing the soil, we allow the natural processes to take place. Earthworms and other beneficial soil organisms can thrive, creating a healthier soil ecosystem. Secondly, no-till farming aids in carbon sequestration. The soil, especially when it's rich in organic matter, acts as a significant sink for carbon dioxide, helping to mitigate climate change. Traditional tilling releases this stored carbon back into the atmosphere, but no-till farming keeps it locked away. Thirdly, no-till farming can be more cost-effective. It reduces the need for expensive machinery and fuel, and it can increase yields by improving soil health and moisture retention. Thus, it's a sustainable method that's good for the planet and the pocket. In summary, no-till farming presents a paradigm shift in the way we think about agriculture. It's about respecting the soil, working with nature, and finding sustainable solutions to feed our growing population. It may not be the silver bullet to all our environmental and agricultural challenges, but it certainly is a step in the right direction. So, as we look towards a future of sustainable agriculture, no-till farming stands out as a promising and practical method that benefits not just the farmers, but the entire planet. After all, the health of our soil is inextricably linked to the health of our world.